Greetings everybody, this is Thlingon on my single player world in Sign Fields and today I am running 1.6.1 pre-release and for the most part 1.6.1 breaks PvP. Uh, players can't really sprint without having build up even on here. Um, I'm having troubles making a 4 block jump. Okay, there I made it there, but on servers it takes me at least like one and a half to two blocks to actually start spinning from a standstill. So I, I've tried countless times on like when we did PvP in 1.6 um, on Hoodoo and Calamity, two separate occasions, but tried both of them out and yeah, this jump's just not possible with the new sprint because I take like a full block run up to start spinning because spinning takes a little bit of time to register that you're actually spinning now and just I run off the block before I'm even starting to sprint which is not good and then there's like it just feels sluggish overall it's part of the new attribute system which hopefully gets all the bugs and kinks worked out but for 1.6 it looks like it's not going to happen so PvP uh, I'm not feeling it in 1.6 guys Sorry, but not. And until then, though, we do have new uh, new stuff to play with in uh, vanilla, since that's the only thing that's really focused on. It feels like for one six, and so I'm probably going to be playing more vanilla. Um, this world, of course, and of course the Exile server. I'm not going to forget that at all. And I don't know, I feel like my attention will return back to those two because it's been mostly PvP for a long while now and might as well and to kick this off might as well kick off with a new song so um, Stall Supremacy I love Stall and all but let's try something new far too good, far um, this is my old favorite far um, to bring nostalgia back, let's see if there's something else Wait, wait for it. Hmm. Yeah, it's a great song. It's my new favorite song, um, of course. But what's this that song? Oh. Okay. Ah uh, yeah, best part about 1.6, the resource packs. You could hear Revolution while you're playing Revolution. The map. <laughs> and the song. Ah, uh, it's so much, so good. You change this. No, stop it. Yeah, it's... Oh. It likes throwing my record disc out because of the glass block. There we go. <laughs> uh, it's so cool. I could do that. Um, I also have Cat playing a custom remix version of Cat at the moment, but I'm not sure if that's copyrighted or not. So I probably won't play it. But it will play a remix version of Cat made by Harvey December. Um, it's pretty cool. And I also have been playing around with the uh, other sounds too. Um, I've lowered the volume of some sounds, like minecarts will make hardly any noise at all because I actually hate that sound, the minecart sound. And rain will hardly make any noise at all compared to normal and compared to everything else. Like you could always turn on the particles for rain and it will stop the rain noise, but I like saying particles and I don't like hearing rain so it's kind of a lose-lose. Now I could turn down the rain sounds and I'll be good, which I did. Um, I also turned down zombies breaking down wooden doors. Um, it was always like ear numbingly loud and I turned that down to basically nothing. Um, I won't hear it coming but uh, I don't really care if I hear it, don't hear it coming. So uh, at least it's out of the picture and off my eardrums which is very beneficial. Um, but speaking of doors, wooden doors. Um, I also added old sounds back into the game that used to exist, including the old door sound. The 
This is music to my ears in itself. Yeah, the old door sound. Ooh, discs are kind of loud though. Yeah, let's take the disc out. Sorry, Raider. Whoa. But yeah, that disc is a little bit loud. Um, but anyways, I added like walking on sand. I added the old sound back, which sounds all soft. pretty cool. I also debated about adding the old Steve sound back. That oof. Like that oof sound that they Steve used to make. Um, back in like beta 1.7. I'm not sure if I'll get used to that really. Uh, this is why I don't like 1.6 because you have to eat every two seconds. And in PvP it's every 0.2 seconds. <sighs> it really was in a uh, hoodoo on defenders, your food source is cake, and cake is no saturation. So you eat cake to full health, full hunger, and then you try regening one heart, and you back down until you need to eat again. So like in ten seconds, you really do have to eat again. And combine that, and that's just if you're standing still and not fighting or not doing anything. If you're sprinting and running around, like nat like nature in PvP, you have to eat even more, and it's just not fun. But uh, anyways, I've been working on here off and on a bit since I last played. I uh, last did this on camera, and the last time I did this on camera is when I killed my old username, Floating Creeper. And since then, I added a few new things. I think I added the ice before, where the. Uh, it's not. There it goes. It's like, this is ice beneath the water here, so the things flow faster but it will flow into hoppers um, if this one's full it will flow into this one instead uh, this hopper leads to hopper beneath there into here which I'll get my bread out of and this hopper leads straight into this one here which contains all the books I already have before it needed leather to make it um, I made all these books before I needed leather and I did all these reads since then um, my melon and pumpkin farm got that treatment too. Ice, but I didn't get the hoppers yet. Not sure where to fit them, to be honest. Um, maybe if I make these two upside down stairs and put a chest beneath it, but then it will kind of mess up the look I had going here for quite a long time. Um, and I'm not sure what to do about that. Uh, also, I fixed this cactus farm. I never actually gained the cactus because it always despawn. But now I'll just lead into hoppers here. And the trapdoor's got these sounds too. Aw, oh, yeah. I'm not really sure what other sounds to add from the nostalgia back. I thought about the old TNT sounds too, but those are obsolete. And the Steve sound actually had a lot of white noise. Um. Surprisingly to me, it just it had like, like a psh, like oops. That's kind of uh. But anyways, uh, this got a treatment too. Finally added this here as well because he's kept despawning. Even though I did collect it in time, I more often than the cacti, but still. Anyways, I've been like messing around here a bit. Just trying to update you on all this, this world, because I haven't seen it in a long time. Um, ooh, there's a lot of ice here. I've been working on my tree farm at my other base to get a ton of apples, to make a ton of golden apples, because it will not cost about eight times more to make a golden apple than it does now. Eight times more gold, and eight times more gold to make a glistering melon. So I made a ton of those before I switched over to 1.6. And I used the ice to upgrade the farms to uh, ice and hoppers, really. Really, like, make the farms hundred, like, easy to collect because it auto, auto collects for you. So, yeah, I also had to fix my ice machine since it was based on a bud design. And buds no longer work the way they used to. And this is like bud detecting pistons firing. 
and that doesn't work so and buds detecting ice growing that doesn't work either I believe one out of two if not both so I had to fix that it's now running on a hopper clock that auto fires every full cycle so that's fine but yeah, that's I don't want don't uh, I haven't found a way to get rid of the uh, C4 and 8 dash mall when it plays um, it wasn't in the language packs either which you can now edit finally um, oh yeah I should uh, show you my title screen what is this I don't oven <laughs> finally can have custom splashes that's awesome been wanting that since forever um, custom splashes without having to edit the mod edit the jar file like you used to have to um, <laughs> Hi. Oh yeah, my sounds are low again. Yeah, I'll probably turn on the volume of the records, but it's really easy to add. I used Audacity to take the MP3 file. Um, I just dragged and dropped it from iTunes into my desktop, and opened the MP3 file in Audacity, and then basically immediately just export it as a .ogg file. And this is supposed to be Mushrooms, but I never got that yet. But anyways, my plans for 1.6 is mainly the nether, um, because when I killed myself, I, use, I had to use my local host server, and when I used my local host, my nether got deleted. It got left behind in my craft bucket, because it kind of it splits up the nether and end. Um, I copied back the end, but I'm leaving the nether blank and fresh and new. Um, if you go there now, you can see what's happening there. All I had in the old nether was my uh, very shabby portal transport system. It was in the ceiling of the nether. It was just dug out netherrack, and that's it. No special designs, just portals. And I think there's like a few double chests in netherrack, but that's easily replenishable. I'm probably going to have to do it anyways. But I also left behind a blaze farm. That's the biggest loss. It's only a single blaze farm. I never used it anyway since with the end farm. Um, if you take a look. Yeah, it's fresh nether here. Um, and I grabbed nether quartz already for the comparators for the hopper clock. But there is nether quartz around and fresh glowstone. And I don't know, fresh nether would be really beneficial. Plus the stronghold I made my blaze spawner in might have had been a double blaze spawner if it wasn't cut off by like 1.7 nether generation. Beta 1.7. Ooh, that's apparently a stronghold right there. Is that a stronghold? It is a stronghold right beneath me. Let's actually go take a look at that after uh, clearing out these blaze. I don't like punch on my bills because of that. It, it moves the target too much and you have to completely re aim. Oh, oh. No, stop. Oh, there you are. Don't blow up my quartz. Thank you. Uh, I might have hit some quartz over there. But anyways, let's go down and check this out. Um, ooh, there's a skeleton there. Anyways, yeah, I'm just planning on building in the nether again, making a full double blaze farm and maybe in a wither skeleton farm or a zombie pigman farm using a ethos trick with the nether ceiling and the way you get you pearl through and could get above everything so only part very small part of the nether is actually loaded. What's down here? Death, that's what's down here. Yeah, see, I'm, I had to eat like six, seven bread in this very short video. Um, short video so far. Wait, did I switch it out? Okay, I did. What is? Oh, it's right here. I also do not have any um, wither skeleton heads, and I'm gonna. I didn't. I don't have any and never bought the uh, wither either, so probably gonna do that too. 
for the first time in this world. I thought it before. Whoa! Did he spawn in my face? That's impossible. I must have looped around. Yeah, at least you're getting better FPS than the other time. I was playing on Exile, the snapshot lag, episode 10. Um, when I'm recording, I did lower my render distance just for the purposes of this video. I like playing on far though because it's advantageous to. Um, I think I actually generated this before nether chest, unfortunately. Oh dear. Let's do that. Okay. Now... It's right beneath my portal too, that's crazy. Probably dig straight up for it, even. I want more blaze farms though. It would be awesome if there's a closer one. These are too far away from that one though. Hmm. If I had a double blaze farm right beneath sign fields, that would be truly amazing. Let's go please. Uh, another bread is going to be needed to be eaten. Um, Ender pearling is going to take hearts off and that's going to take regen uh, food down so much quicker too. There's a lot of dead ends and stuff here. Is this a dead end? It is. Back this way. Let's see. I might I don't know, maybe, I don't know how to delete the nether actually, so I won't. I was going to say delete the nether again since I did nothing in here, but keep it as is. Wow, these are, uh, dangerous. What's with all these things being filled with lava? Okay. Yeah, horse armor is new too in the nether, and there's a lot of uh, horse armor and gold in nether fortresses. And searching for the mushroom biome, which might be another task, um, will hopefully lead to new dungeons and new air new caves to get the new dungeons and the uh, name tags. This place is pretty big. And it's all underground. I don't really like that. I don't like underground fortresses. Here is the other one. Nope. <laughs> no, thank you, Blaze. I'll deal with you. Let me actually send myself a little bit of trouble finding this. And do that. That way you don't have to walk down every long hallway. You can hopefully catch it and notice. Um, that's a little... I am on normal render, but yeah, it's a little too far. Um, let's try to head back. This the way back. Oh, it's into the lava room. Cool, cool, cool. It ends. Let's see if I can't find my way around. I hear withers or normal skellies. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking of doing in 1.6 because PV is not going to be in it for anything. My, uh, PVP is going to be broken like that. It'll, I don't really want to play it all that much. Unfortunately, I will still play it with friends, of course, but other than that, um, just raw PvP won't be in it, won't be as exciting for me any anymore, won't feel balanced, just, I don't know, if I want raw PvP or competitive stuff, I'll do TF2, because I've been playing a lot of TF2, um, a fair amount. I've been wanting to like see how the replay system works in ooh, TF2 and make maybe get some 
good replay lives if I figure it out. Shouldn't be too hard. It's built into the game. Ooh, that's another. I don't have my leaving sword. Wither skeletons have to be the only mob or the. Ooh! Oh yeah! <laughs> but I was saying that they have to be the only mob in the game that you could backpedal and win. Um, everything else, especially players, if you backpedal, you will lose. <laughs> Or you will at least lose a ton of hearts. I can't believe I got a wither skeleton though. Okay, let me get out of here. Um, but yeah, I've been having to run. Oh, here it is. Okay. Yeah, it's right up here. Oh, yeah, a normal one. I also think I added the old skeleton hit sound. So if when you hit a skeleton. Just make the older sounds, but I'm not sure if that's actually working. Um, this looks pretty cool. Um, all the old sounds I got from the uh, retro sound pack that used to require a mod to play, but it had all the old sounds in it, and I just took it from there. Did, did it really spawn behind me? Okay, weird. Yeah, it's up there. Okay. Let's get out of here. I actually got a wither skeleton. Oh yeah, I made it. I hit the ceiling actually. That's crazy. Alright, let's get out of here. Ice. Um, I might make ice transportation. I'm, I'm going to make a huge ice tray. Because I need one. Because that little thing is not really working out. Seinfeld never was meant for massive or uh, bulk mo uh, resource farming uh, my um, psh, my wheat farms only right that big and uh, the mob farm is pretty good though it's I think it's my best mob farm in the server maybe on beta 1.7 one's better I think I lit up more caves in the middle of the ocean too so it will, it's perfectly fine at night as well um, but all of these are just really supposed to be a taste of every single farm in the game within the borders of the dome <laughs> um, I still need a villager farm which I could Make with the zombie spawner if I had one in sign fields, but I don't think I do So I'll need to convert the mob farm into that, but like I need to move my reed farm out here This is my reed farm <laughs> you can see like where the chunks load and this is pretty cool too. Back when you could abuse my form. Oh yeah, I also lowered the volume of the portal. The portal noises, so it's good. But <laughs> it's so fun. There's jack o' lanterns beneath every lily pad. Um and I meant to, I continue this all through this because it's all one thick ocean and you could just easily like put a pumpkin in and put the four sand around and all that but maybe someday just to give it a nice look but I don't need to read like this anymore <laughs> reads and I didn't even try um, all that much but anyways I'm gonna end it here I'm excited to play vanilla again uh, I'm sad that PvP will have to take a back burner for at least 1.6 because it's broken and yeah 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 Oops. face match um, 1.5 PvP is still being too though if it's ever happens so anyways thanks for watching um, I hope you enjoyed. Oh, it just sounds so awesome. <laughs> and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.